and welcome to a hot end review. I received this Creality Spider 3.0 hot end for review, and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of this hot end and um, kind of final thoughts of what I think about it. So I have it mounted here on my Rook Evolution, and that's probably the biggest thing uh, that I like about this hot end, and that's probably the biggest pro. Um, there are a lot of mounting options on this hot end. I would like to see this on more manufacturers. Um, basically what we have here is, there is your normal kind of Creality style mounting here, the two bolts on the front, which I've grown to really like. It's very simple, uses um, the least amount of hardware and standard hardware, just simple M3 bolts, not M2.5 or M2 or anything like that. So that's really nice. It of course has groove mount hot end, which I don't use. And then you can actually unscrew this groove mount and there's actually four bolts in the top. So you can mount it like a Rapido or I think a Revo mounts in a similar fashion as well. Um, so having those three different types of mounting options is really, really nice. I also really like uh, the included package here as well. They do include a Bowden adapter for this as well. If you remove the groove mount which I could have definitely done on this situation. Hardware, some thermal paste, you know, kind of standard stuff, but I really, I really appreciate that they include that Bowden adapter there. Uh, the hot end does come in very nice packaging. They've definitely put some attention to detail on the packaging. It's a little bit confusing as far as the naming of this hot end. It's called the, um, like, Spider 3.0, but on the box it says uh, Spider Pro. Um, it's kind of referred to the same thing, so a little bit of an odd naming convention there, but that's not a big deal. For whatever reason, it does include a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. I don't know why. Um, I would have preferred a 0.6. I think that'd be much more kind of the standard going forward. Um, so it has a 0.4 in there now, and then it comes with a 0.8. I don't know if that's uh, for all of them or is just in my kit. Again, 0.6 would make more sense. So this is a all-metal hot end. It's rated for 300 degrees. There's no PTF line or anything like that. They're using titanium um, and copper for the heat break. Um, they are touting this as a high-flow hot end. Um, I haven't done any crazy flow tests with this. Um, I've just kind of been playing around with it a little bit. The print quality and the flow seem to be very good. I've not had any issues with that. This does come with a thermistor in the box, which is really nice. But as far as I can tell, there are no details on what thermistor it comes with. I looked at the manual, I've looked on the website, and it doesn't list what thermistor it is. So this is um, listed as an upgrade, a direct upgrade for CR10, Ender 3s, Ender 5s. So I'm assuming that it is just a standard thermistor that the Ender Creality style printers use. So that's what I'm using in Clipper for this. It would be nice if they include that in the documentation or on the website or something like that. I always find that detail lacking in a lot of hot ends. You've got to dig through so much information to find out what thermistor they come with. So it would be nice to have that information much easier accessible. Um, so I guess for an upgrade, for like an Ender upgrade, this maybe would make some sense. The issues I have with this hot end, unfortunately, are... It's kind of a brand new hot end that's come out and it doesn't have a ceramic heater. And honestly, nowadays, most all hot ends should have ceramic heaters. They're much simpler. They're way more compact. They have way better flow. And everything is included in the box. I had to add my own. This is just a 40 watt, uh, 24 volt heater, but it doesn't come with a heater cartridge either. Again, I'm assuming that the person would be using their Creality hot end if this were to be an upgrade. But this hot end is $100 Canadian. I can buy a Triangle Labs CHC ceramic full hot end for $60. 
and it comes with everything in the box. So I really, really wish and I really hope that manufacturers going forward uh, for hot ends and for printers in general, circular ceramic heaters should be the norm right now. There's no need to use old style cartridge heaters um, and that type of thing. It just doesn't make any sense. There are a lot of companies on the market right now that offer ceramic heaters for a lower price point and they're all metal. They have excellent flow. I'm just trying to, whenever I build a printer, I want to simplify this as much as possible, whether it's a custom printer like this, or we're putting this on an Ender 3 or something like that. If everything's packaged nice and tightly into the hot end, it makes it much easier for the user to install this. And again, $100 to me doesn't seem like it's worth it for an upgrade. I think there's definitely, you could go on Thingiverse and 3D print like a better mount for your Ender 3 and run like a Rapido or a Revo or a Triangle Lab CHC or any other hot end than this. Um, it's really, it's a shame, you know, those two things is, I mean, again, it's 2023. I really hope that manufacturers are going to start standardizing ceramic circular heaters for hot ends. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it would have been at least nice to include a heater in this, like a 50 watt heater for the price in the package. Again, this is probably aimed at a direct ender um, or crowdy replacement. So you're just gonna reuse your existing heater, but a lot of those printers are gonna come with 40 watt heaters. If this is a high flow hot end, you're gonna want a minimum 50 or even maybe a 60 watt heater. So, I don't really see the point of going to a hot end like this. Um, I really appreciate being sent this for review and it actually worked out really well on my Rook Evolution here, but I wouldn't have purchased this hot end. Um, it's too much money. It doesn't have the features that I want. It could be more compact as far as the wiring, like I say, with a ceramic heater, that type of thing. I do appreciate the different mounting options. It basically has a mounting option for anyone. Um, it does have actually a very nice silicone sock that holds on very well. This is not going to fall off like your normal silicone sock, so that is quite nice. Um, it's a nice looking hot end for sure. I just wish they would have had a ceramic heater on that. So that's kind of a wrap up overview review for the again Spider 3.0 hot end from Crowdy and. If anyone has any questions or details about wants to know more about this hot end, I will put some links in the description. And stay tuned for, to the channel for more 3D printing designs and reviews and stuff like that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.